Hey, welcome back everybody. This week we're going to take on a super fun song from the Steve Miller band called Jungle Love. And it's written by a guy named Greg Douglas. And uh, he played the lead guitar on it, or the only guitar sort of you hear on the record. And it's fantastic. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on there. And I um, uh, really want to do a deep dive with you on that and really learn how to play this one like the record. I think I nailed it with this one. Okay, hey, if you haven't done so already, I'd love if you could go down and subscribe um, and ring the bell. It lets you know every single time that I drop content, um, and I do that every single week. And let me know in the comments what you think of this, and if there's another song you want me to take on and do a lesson similar. Also, um, you can always, on all of my videos, you can jump, uh, there's jump links down in the description, and also if you look at the horizontal red bar, you can jump to the section of the song that you want to learn uh, and jump right in and get to if you want to bypass some of my yapping. So um, just know that that's always there. Okay, so Jungle Love. So there's a lot to unpack on this song, actually. Um, first of all, the tuning. The tuning of this song is, wow, it's a little different. Okay, it's an open A tuning. But what you hear on the record is a little sharp of A, a little flat of B flat. So I don't know where to tell you exactly like what that is exactly, but um, anyway, the here's the tuning, okay? It's as, it's as if you're tuning it to an open A cowboy chord, if you will, you know, like this. Um, and it's great for slide. Um, it's actually the same tuning if you're familiar with an open G tuning. It's the same tuning, you're just tuning everything up two frets. If you did the open G tuning and you capoed it two, it's the same thing. Anyway, but here's, you know, to get it just like the record, like I said, it's a little sharp of open A, so here's the notes that I have. Okay, so whatever that is. <laughs> But it's basically, it's a little sharp of an A chord, it's a little sh flat of a B flat chord, all right? But when you, str when you strum it straight across, you get, you get an A chord. And you can play slide over it. And we're gonna do a little bit of that here. Okay, so that's the tuning. Second thing is, you wanna dial up a little bit of um, overdrive. Um, I'll show you what I have on my effects here. There's also some, I don't know if it was a studio thing that he did. Uh, but there's a little bit of a micro, micro, micro delay um, going on or double tracking or something with, with, the, with the guitar take that he did. So I attempted to do that with the setting on my delay pedal that you can see here. Okay. Um, all right, so where to begin? So um, you will need, if you want to do it like Greg plays it, um, you want to slide and you want to hold that on your pinky, which is not the natural place for me to play slide at all. Um, I learned it the Jimmy Page way, which is on my ring finger. And lately, I've switched to do it on the middle finger like Joe Walsh I've seen do it. I get a lot more control. But for this song, you need to be able to fret um, a few chords and you need to be able to jump to the slide. So really the only way to do that is to do this, okay? So you'll have your three fingers to work with. Okay, so did you ever notice when you listen to this song, it sort of sounds like a 12 string a little bit? There's some octaves going on in there and then not fully later? Well, the reason is because he's picking some, song, uh, some strings in unison with this crazy open A tuning, all right? So let's talk about the opening and that's a good example of that, right? So your sixth and your fourth string are octaves of each other and your a, your your fifth and your third string are also octaves of each other so there's a lot of times when he's picking those two together right and it's right out of the gate in the beginning so that's those two together Right, open, two, four on the sixth and the fourth string, and then it's open, two, four again on the fifth and the third. Back to open, and then here's the first 
place where you're going to pull in your slide, you're going to slide all the way up to, what is that, Seven, 9, which makes a, uh, well, if that's an E, it would make a, an F sharp. Right? So all together. And to get it just like the record, you sort of don't want to hit, you don't want to hit those strings. You just want to sort of get the third, fourth, and fifths. When I play it, I'm going to get punch. So I actually hold the pick and I use my middle finger to pluck the octave string. So it can be right there with the pick. All right, so that's the opening. Um, now, your verse chords. All right, great little pattern on here. So um, you'll see the chord patterns over my shoulder, and I'll run through here one time slowly. Okay, so that's one time through. Um, and then he just repeats it. All right, now you're going to run into the chorus section. And there's a little pickup that he does um, to get in there. And the way he plays it um, is he's down here on the open strings. And then he jumps up there to nine. Okay, so that little part again. So when you hit that open G string, you slide your hand up and you're just going to hit fourth and third string on that ninth fret. Okay. And you're really only playing fourth and third string um, throughout this chorus part, maybe the fifth string too. Um, or, or sorry, fourth, third and, and sometimes second string. up on the way down you just do you don't do all the vocal you know the vocal goes it's driving me mad you don't do you don't have a chord for every time you don't do you just do that's all he's doing there and then you do the Keith Richard So that's the chorus. That's, that was probably the trickiest part for me to learn because it's sort of moving your hands in different chord shapes than maybe you're not normally doing, or at least I'm not. So that's the chorus. Now I want to actually show an alternative way of playing uh, some of the little parts of the chorus a little differently than Greg does. And the only reason I'm doing this is because... Um, uh, there's a way that you can play that where you're not jumping around as much that I've found. Um, and I think it still sounds fantastic, just like it, right? So, um, so the normally his part on the chorus goes... Okay. So the alternative way is all sort of staying within this seven to nine ish fret area and i'm going to show it to you slowly here like this so i just think that's obviously a lot easier you're still hitting the same sort of notes
So it's a lot of back and forth on the Keith Richards thing. Um, but it's, I just want to show an alternative to jumping around like that if you want another way to learn it with this tuning. Also, there's an alternative way to play that because you have to jump all the way down and then jump all the way back up. But you don't have to. You can, it's a little bit different because you're doing some weird string jumps, but you're still all right here, okay? Open A. Open G. Right? So the way that sort of works in context. So you're all right here the whole time. Just want to suggest an alternative way to do it. But the way Greg Douglas plays it, again, is... which also works. So choose which way you want to play. The other, and then the other part is the, uh, I don't know what it is, the bridge, I guess. Okay, so that's at seven, and this is the whole Keith Richards kind of thing. Okay, so we're at seven. And we're going to jump down to five and we're going to hammer on, I'll just call it the Keith Richards. <laughs> uh, we're going to hammer on a Keith Richards really quick. So it's not like you even really play that chord fully. It's and then you slide up to 10 in that same uh, position. And then you pull it off to the open, right? Okay, one time slow. And you can drag your finger up, get all that in there, get that rock and roll in there. And then you're ending on a seventh, and you want to let that low uh, E string ring out when you bar here across the seventh fret. back to the top again and then that's that part so that's really most of the parts right there it's um but that's where you get that sort of sound where it sounds like he's playing a 12 string but if you were to do it on a 12 string it wouldn't sound right at all there you go so it's just that piece all right so there's a couple variations that he does um when he's running through that i want to call out that are really fun during the verse sections. So um, now you recall the verse section goes. So the variations all happen over, you know, normally in the beginning he does. So it's over that, you know, in, in place of that, right? So the first variation is this one. super easy and it's just uh, hammer-ons um, I'll go slow down here and you sort of drag that up for that last three and then the last one is the super harmonic one right so that's all it is you're just on the seventh fret which is also a giveaway of the tuning thing on this song, right? Um, yeah, but those cool little flourishes on there, right? And that's it. So that's Jungle Love by the Steve Miller Band and written by a guy named Greg Douglas and he played all the guitar throughout it. Um, 
And actually, here's a link to a video of him playing it like recently within the last 10 or so years, probably. Uh, but you can see him doing it very clearly um, on his open A tuning um, and the chord shapes that he's doing that we covered here today. Um, and uh, anyway, great work, Greg Douglas. That's awesome. Um, so now I'm out to find out what else is out there on, on an open A tuning too that I could learn. Okay, so if you like what you saw here, um, please click da uh, go down and click subscribe and ring the bell and let you know every time I release new content, which I do every single week. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this and let me know if there's a song that you'd like me to do um, a lesson like this on. I'd love for your ideas. And, this and by the way, this song was suggested by one of my viewers, so thank you for that. Um, okay, so until next week, take care everybody. Mm -hmm.